Do you already have Lightroom and Photoshop and wonder if you need yet another HDR software? Not sure if you have to pay for the new HDR Merge extension for Luminar Neo? Interested in doing natural looking HDR with one click? If you said yes to any of those questions, stick around. In this video, I'm going to answer all of those questions and more about the new Luminar Neo HDR Merge extension. I'll show you how fast and easy it is to get great natural looking results. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve your photography right from capturing camera all the way through to the end of the editing process. And if HDR is part of your workflow or something that you're interested in doing, let's get started. There are a few pros and cons of the new HDR Merge extension that's part of Luminar Neo. Let me show you the pros first because I think they far outweigh the cons. The easiest way for me to show you the pros is to actually show you how it works and how simple and easy it is to use. Here we are inside of Luminar Neo. I've got a really challenging set of images that I photographed many years ago. This is about as contrasty a scene as you could find. The inside of this room is very dark and the outside is very bright. So I've done a bracketed set of images to merge as HDR. I've merged this particular set many times with many different softwares. The style of HDR has changed over the years and most people now prefer something that's much more natural looking. So I'm going to grab these four images. If you haven't already updated your Luminar Neo, make sure you do so because then you'll see this little side panel that you can toggle on and off. If you want to learn more about Luminar Neo Update 1.2.0, there's a video on our channel about that. You'll find a link in the description area below. To get started with the HDR merge, you can see that once you've installed it, the panel is here. You just have to select the images you want to use and then drag them and drop them into this box. If you click on the little gear icon here, you can choose auto alignment and ghost reduction. If you choose to do ghost reduction, meaning if something has moved from one image to the next in your series, you can also choose which image that it uses to try and do the deghosting. If you shot the images not on a tripod, then I would recommend auto alignment. In this case, I don't need either because they were shot on a tripod and I don't think anything moved. So the next step is just to click merge. It's that simple. Once the merge has been completed, the first time you do this, you'll get a new folder added into your pictures folder called HDR merge. And that's where the new image will live. There it is. Now I want to bring this to your attention because take a look at this image. This is four images merged into one and look at the amount of detail here. It's been auto tone corrected by Luminar Neo and right out of the gate, it looks really good. I already did some editing on a version of this one that I merged earlier. Let's take a look. If I hold the backslash key, you could see the before image. That's the one I just showed you that I got by merging the four bracketed images. With just a few simple edits to adjust contrast, this is what I've got now. See how much detail there is in this side wall that was completely blown out before, as well as in the deep dark shadows inside the room. There's the edited image compared to unedited. But all the tones are there to lead you to a successful, natural looking blended HDR. I want to show you another set of images, also a really high contrast scene. Whenever you are inside a building shooting outside like this or the opposite, you get a really high dynamic range, hence the name HDR. Notice that the windows are blown out here and there's very little detail in the cast iron wood stove. So I bracketed to capture detail in the windows, and in the stove. So I'm going to pull all five of these images into the HDR merge. See how it says drag from one to 10 images here to start? That's all you need to do. So I've got the five bracketed images selected 
and I'm just gonna drag them into the box once again. Likewise, on this set, they were shot on a tripod, so I don't need auto alignment and nothing moved. So I'm not going to do either alignment or ghost reduction. All I have to do is click merge. This is a set that I actually have previously done and demonstrated using Lightroom. I've tried multiple times using Lightroom's Merge to HDR and I keep getting an artifacting or a double image on the floor where the shadow is. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. This is the merged HDR image. Once again, look at the tonality range. I've done absolutely nothing here. If we look at this in the develop module, check the histogram. I can turn on the clipping warnings and you can see that there's absolutely nothing clipping in the sky or the windows, only a little bit of blacks. Likewise, I did some editing on this image previously as well. There's the finished version. What I want you to take particular note of is this area here on the floor. When we look at the different bracketed images, because the exposure is so different here on the highlight compared to the shadow, Lightroom had trouble merging it and blending it nicely. But look at what a great job Luminar Neo has done. If you want to see the edits I've done on this one, I can go back to the beginning. I did a little bit of highlight and contrast adjustment here, darkened the exposure overall, added some structure to give some more detail into the door. So I used Structure AI. I used the color tool to get rid of a little bit of fringing in the purple areas here in the window and blue that was picking up in the cast iron stove. And finally, added a vignette. That's all I've done. I didn't do any major masking or brushwork here. There's the before and there's the after. It looks naturally blended. We still have highlights and we still have shadows. For comparison, this is a version that I merged in Lightroom previously. Take a look at the problem. Can you see how there's a double line here and the shadow sort of repeats? I've tried multiple times to merge this in Lightroom and I can never get rid of this line. If I choose to do deghosting, then I end up with a bunch of noise in the deep shadow areas. Interestingly enough, or maybe not, this is a version that I made with Aurora HDR, which is also made by Skylum. You can see that it did a much better job of blending that shadow. So for me, it's no surprise that the new Luminar Neo HDR extension did a similar job to Aurora. So let's recap some of the pros. Number one, it's super easy. You just drag and drop your images. Number two, it processes it pretty fast. Number three, great results right out of the gate. Number four, low or no artifacting. I haven't seen it produce a lot of noise or problems yet. Number five, no halos. It definitely beat Lightroom on this last image. And finally, to answer the question at the beginning of the video, if you already own Luminar Neo and Aurora HDR, this extension is free for you. To get it, just check your Skylum account. Log in to skylum.com, go to your account and your software, and you should see an activation code for the HDR extension there. If you don't, just email Skylum and they will provide one for you. Okay, let's talk about the cons really quickly, and I think there's less of them. It currently does not function as a plugin for Lightroom. It's a Luminar Neo extension. I tried sending five raw files, these same ones, from Lightroom into Luminar Neo, and it just opened them all separately, and the plugin for HDR extension wasn't there. So currently, it's only available in the Luminar Neo standalone version. I don't know whether or not that's something that's going to change. The next drawback is that it doesn't produce a DNG file, you get a TIFF. So it's not a raw file, but it is a 32-bit TIFF with a lot of information. So, so far, I haven't seen a drawback to that. The last con is twofold. If you do any adjustments in the develop raw tool previously to merging them in HDR, those do not apply when they're merged. So things like chromatic aberration, let me show you an example here on this image that I just merged. See the chromatic aberration? And when I go to develop, 
I can't get to it anymore because it's not a raw file. So this is something that I and other Skyland partners have given them feedback about and I'm hopeful that this is actually something that's going to be corrected. You see, Auto Defringe doesn't correct it. So when I edited the other version, I used the color tool and dragged down the purple saturation and masked it to solve that. I prefer not to have to do that and I would like to be able to just correct chromatic aberration with a checkbox. Let me show you another example. But before I do that, if HDR photography is something that you're interested in, but you wanna know more about how to photograph the bracketed images properly, I actually have a course on that. I'll provide a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. This next example I want to show you is three images that I took of my husband, Rob. When you're doing HDR with people, it's very challenging because two things are happening. Number one, obviously I'm not on a tripod here, so each image isn't aligned perfectly, and he likely moved from one image to the next. So we're gonna have alignment issues and ghosting. Likewise, the clouds may have moved in this particular scene. So I've tried to merge this one a few times. Let me show you some images that I got as a result. I tried different settings including auto alignment and then deghosting using different images and you can also choose from medium to high levels of deghosting. I got various levels of success. You could see this first one, there's a double image still of his face. Likewise with this one. I finally had some success with this version. What I ended up doing was choosing deghost highest level and auto align. It's not perfect as you can see here around his ear, but I could probably use the erase tool to fix that. I was also able to use the tools in Luminar Neo to do a really great job of editing this image. Here's the before as it came directly out of the HDR merge extension, and that's what I've done to edit it. Let's look at the comparison to the same image set in Lightroom. Just like Luminar Neo's HDR merge, I had hit and miss results in Lightroom as well. Let me zoom in. Can you see the double image there of his face and also the back of his neck? This one is a lot better. Can you see that? There's a tiny bit of ghosting at the top of his head here. Oh, but wait, this one was done with Aurora HDR as well. Are you seeing a trend here? This one was done with Lightroom as well, and I got the deghosting solved by choosing one of the images that was darker. But now look, I've got this horrible, nasty color noise everywhere, all over him. So I have to say, of all the times that I've merged these images, and these are over 10 years old, so they're from an older camera, Canon camera with lots of noise potential, this is the best version of these three images merged that I've ever done. Let me zoom in to show you that there's absolutely no noise in this version. Tiny little bit, but definitely not to the level of the one that you saw in Lightroom. For me, so far, the pros of the new Luminar Neo HDR far outweigh the cons. I'm going to be using Luminar Neo HDR merge a lot more. I have a question for you. Let's discuss HDR photography. Do you currently do HDR? Or have you wanted to do it, but hesitated because of the unnatural look to so much HDR photography that's shared online? Share your thoughts in the comment area below. Let's discuss. As I said earlier, I think the trend has really moved to a more natural looking HDR over the last few years. So Skylum is really in tune with that with this new HDR extension for Luminar Neo. I'm excited to see where it goes. If you want to learn more about what's in Luminar Neo update 1.2, click this video here. You can also watch any of the others on Luminar Neo on our channel. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, take care.